I understand from the rest of the league's perspective. The Redskins benching Dwayne Haskins makes no sense. It's like, yo, this team sucks. He's, you dra- drafted him in the first round, I think, what, like eighth overall or something? Tenth overall, somewhere high up there. And it's like, how? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere high up there, like top 10 pick. How can you bench him, give up on him so quick? He's only had 11 starts last year. They ended up going with two other quarterbacks before giving him a shot. This year, he starts off, and then four games in, you're already benching him. It's like, how can you do that? Well, you have to look at the landscape of the division. Honestly, I don't think the Redskins and Ron Rivera plan to do anything this year, but the division is so awful that they're half a game back of first place because they beat the Eagles week one. And Kyle Allen... Even though he might not be the franchise quarterback of the future, he played under Ron Rivera last season. And because he played under Ron Rivera last season, he's more familiar with the playbook, especially with no preseason, no training camp, all this corona, you can't really interact with people and learn the playbook, how you're supposed to learn it. Yeah, it makes sense that he's going to go with somebody that's already been in his system. And then on top of it, remember last year, they had like a, they went 3-0 and with Kyle Allen and people were like, yo, can Kyle Allen be the replacement to Cam Newton? And then, you know, he kind of went to trash and then he was able to win them five games though. And the fact that they've already won one game and they got to play the NFC East for five games Hey, Ron Rivera is probably looking at it like, hey, we might be able to sneak off seven wins, eight wins, maybe mess around and make the playoffs. And that's good for a young team like the Redskins where it's like, yo, there's nothing good happening in Washington. If they're able to mess around and make the playoffs, even though in reality they're not the best team, and they have a lot of improvements to make, that raises morale. That makes these young players feel like, hey, we're here for a reason. Sadly, yes, it does speed up your internal clock with, hey, we got to start progressing faster because we've made it to the playoffs. But yeah, that's that's good experience. And I think that's what Ron Rivera is looking for. He's like, hey, maybe we can be a threat. And even if we don't make the playoffs, we can be like, hey, look, look, guys. We're just on the cusp. We just need to do a little better. We just need to tighten up. And I understand what he's doing. Because if the division wasn't this trash, if they didn't beat the Eagles week one and they weren't just half a game out, if they were a game and a half out, I don't think he switches to Dwayne Haskins. He benches Dwayne Haskins. But because you're a quarter of the season in and you're just half a game out, it's like, hey, why give up on this season when the entire division is a trash shoot? Yes, you run the risk of maybe mediocrity, but when you have a lot of young talent, you they don't the Redskins don't really need high draft picks, sure fire picks anymore. They they can go with the field and all where the I guess where talent averages out and then they can coach up players to be superstars. Especially I I trust Ron Rivera's coaching and development of players the Redskins might have something especially if they find a way to make the playoffs because they have a a stable coach a coach with a plan and this benching of Dwayne Haskins yes even though it seems unpopular and it's like yo he's a first round pick how can you just give up on him so fast because of how trash the NFC East is the Redskins are trying to be a playoff team and I don't blame them for trying to be a playoff team because, hey, once you make it to the playoffs, you never know what happens. You might beat the Saints. And once you beat the Saints, it's like, yo, we're in the divisional round as a young team. That young D-line, they get so much confidence. Uh, Whoever is playing, whoever is out wide, Terry McLaurin, all these, these young running backs that they got, it's like, hey, we're starting to build a winning culture here in Washington. And... Because of how trash the division is, Ron Rivera is using this as an opportunity to build a winning culture in Washington, and I don't blame him for benching Dwayne Haskins because, hey, if Kyle Allen can ring off five wins against this season, maybe six wins, 
the Redskins are sitting at seven and nine with an opportunity to clinch the NFC East. Hey. Do you trust the Cowboys? And do you trust the Eagles? God forbid the Giants win two games. This might be a smart decision by Ron Rivera. 